Module 12, Segment 2, Browsing the Avref Data. The objectives of this segment are learning how to search for a part using the integrated Avref data set, reviewing the data elements of the Avref pricing and alternates information, and adding a part from Avref to the Quantum Parts Master Table. Please note that this training segment assumes you already have basic working knowledge of the core quantum control modules. The AVREF search is integrated with the various inventory searches. To access the AVREF data and search for specific parts in it, select the Inventory drop-down menu, select Other Searches, and click on Search AVREF to open the Entering AVREF Search Parameters window. The Entering AVREF Search Parameters window allows you to enter the part number, description, manufacturer, NSN, or cage code to search for a part. You can enter as much or as little information as you have. The more information you provide, the smaller the result set will be since Quantum will search for a part matching all of the parameters provided. For example, entering 12 for a part number will return all part records in AVREF that begin with 12, regardless of the manufacturer or NSN. Adding an NSN number, or just the beginning of one, will return all parts that begin with 12 and have that NSN number. After entering all the search parameters, select OK. Selecting Cancel will return you to the previous screen in Quantum. When you select OK in the Entering AVREF Search Parameters window, Quantum searches for all parts that match the parameters and displays them in a grid. The results are displayed in the top section under AVREF Parts. The bottom section of the screen displays all the alternate parts for the currently selected AVREF part. Scrolling to the right using one of the horizontal scroll bars will display additional information about the parts, either on the AVREF parts screen or the alternate screen. Let's review the data elements that AVREF provides. The first column displays the part number. Note the black triangle to the left of the first record. This means that the first record is selected. The alternate results at the bottom are alternates of this selected part. Description is next. Continuing to the right, we have condition code, list price, unit of measure, and last update. AVREF is a quarterly updated subscription, but not all of the catalogs are updated every quarter. Some are updated yearly, while others have been discontinued. Farther to the right is the NSN, national stock number, where applicable, the manufacturer, and the cage code. Comments will display any manufacturer comments. Scroll to the right by clicking the arrow at the bottom right-hand corner of the AVREF Parts section. These codes map to quantum manufacturer codes, and more information about them is available in the AVREF documentation. Model displays the part's primary application if provided by the catalog, while Source Catalog ID is the catalog where this part listing originated. The SRC is the source of the data. AVREF, which is OEM information, or NSN, which is government procurement information. Packages describes any packaging information. SSCD is the superseding code used by Cessna and Raytheon. Deposit is the core charge for the part. Group number is used internally by the application, and discount shows the manufacturer discount code if applicable. The same information shows up on the alternates section. The alternates section will display alternates for any part selected in the AVREF parts section. If the selected part is an AVREF source part, then the alternates are OEM alternates of some type. If the source is NSN, the alternates will be in the same NSN number group and are government approved alternates. Let's review the buttons at the bottom of the screen. Selecting Find will open the Entering AVREF Search Parameters window to begin a new search. We will return to the Add to Parts Master button in a moment. Selecting Next will go to the next set of results that match the search parameters if there are more. Selecting Previous will return to the previous result set. Web Logon is reserved for future use. In order to add the selected part to the Quantum Parts Master, select Add to Parts Master, which opens the Adding Part window. The AVREF Created box is checked and the AVREF information is populated. Selecting OK will add the part to the master parts list in Quantum. After reviewing the AVREF screens, let's see how we can view information from the Quantum Master Parts screen. We'll start off by viewing cross-reference, alternate information. 
Close all the AVREF windows and open a master part listing by selecting Search Master Parts from the Inventory drop-down menu. Type in a part number and press the Enter key. You should now be viewing the parts inventory control screen. Selecting the XREF button will open the alternate search result window for the master part. As you learned in previous lessons, this window displays all the alternates for the current item. The Quantum Alternates section displays alternates stored in Quantum, while the AVREF cross-reference section displays all possible alternates in AVREF for this item. By default, the AVREF section does not display anything, so you will only see records in the Quantum Alternate section if this item has alternates entered. Check the View AVREF Data checkbox in the upper left-hand corner. If this part exists in AVREF, you will see alternate records in the AVREF cross-reference section at the bottom of the screen. At this point, there are two possible options. AVREF can return exact matches or possible matches, depending on the information the master item has. In this case, you will see that the master item has an NSN number. If the master part has an NSN number, all the results returning from AVREF will have the same NSN number and are therefore an exact match. You will also notice that the exact matches are colored green, signifying that a direct NSN match was found. If the master item doesn't have NSN information, AVREF will return all the possible alternates based on the master item's part number. The results will be grouped together by color, where each color is an alternate group. Each color indicates a group of alternate parts, which are all alternates of each other. We will then identify the specific group we are looking for by reading the description of the part or investigating the records further. Let's review the buttons at the bottom of the screen. You should already be familiar with the alternates window from other lessons. There are three buttons that are relevant for the AVREF information. The Add from AVREF button will add the selected AVREF alternate to the Quantum Alternates list for this item. Selecting it will open the Adding Alternate from AVREF cross-reference window, similar to the standard Adding Alternate button. The alternate type will default from your defaults list in Quantum. You can select a specific type of alternate which you may have previously defined in Quantum. Checking Print Alternate will choose whether to print this alternate when printing the master item on orders. The alternate PN, Description, and MFG code will all default from the AVREF record. List Sequence will control the order in which alternates appear in the Quantum Alternates section. If you check the Create Master PN box, a new master part listing will be created as well. Select OK to add the alternate. The other two buttons are the Next and Previous. Select Next to view the next batch of AVREF alternates, if there are more. Select Previous to view the previous batch of AVREF alternates, if available. Next, we'll see how to view Priceline information from the Quantum Master Part screen. Open a Master Part listing by selecting Search Master Parts from the Inventory drop-down menu. Type in a part number and press the Enter key. You should now be viewing the Parts Inventory Control screen. Selecting the Price button will open the Price Lines window for the master item. As you learned in previous lessons, this window displays all the price lines for the current item. The Quantum Price Lines selection displays price lines stored in Quantum, while the AVREF cross-reference section displays all possible price lines in AVREF for this item and its alternates. By default, the AVREF section will be activated, so you will only see records in the Quantum Price Line section if this item has any. Check the View AVREF Data checkbox in the upper left-hand corner. If this part exists in AVREF, you will see price line records in the AVREF cross-reference section at the bottom. As with the alternates, there are two possible options. AVREF can return exact matches or possible matches, depending on the information the master item has. In this case, you will notice that the master item has an NSN number. If the master part has an NSN number, all the results returning from AVREF will have the same NSN number and are therefore an exact match. You will also notice that the exact matches are coded in green, signifying that a direct NSN match was found. These results are all price lines for the current part, as well as all price lines for all alternates of this master item. If the master item doesn't have NSN information, AVREF will return price lines for all items with the same part number, as well as all price lines for all possible alternates, based on the master item's part number. 
The results will be grouped together by color, where each color is an alternate group. Each color indicates a group of alternate parts, which are all alternates of each other. We will then identify the specific group we are looking for by reading the description of the part or investigating the records further. Let's review the buttons at the bottom of the screen. You should already be familiar with the price lines window from other lessons. There are three buttons that are relevant for the AVREF information. The Add from AVREF button will add the selected AVREF price line to the quantum price line list for this item. Selecting Add from AVREF will open a window which asks you to select a type for the price line. You may remember that you can select a price line that will show up in the IQ module listings, another for vendors, and a third for customers. Select the relevant type by double-clicking it or type the hotkey to select it. Once a price line type has been selected, the Adding Price Line window will appear. The AVREF created checkbox will be checked. Condition Manufacturer, list price, deposit, and remarks all default from the AVREF listing. The rest of the information can be manually entered as necessary. Select OK to add the part to the quantum price lines list. The price line is added to the master item, regardless of the AVREF part number for that price line. The other two buttons are the Next and Previous. Select Next to view the next batch of AVREF price lines. If there are more, Select Previous to view the previous batch of AVREF price lines, if available. In this segment, we have learned how to search for a part using the integrated AVREF dataset and reviewed the data elements of the AVREF pricing and alternates information. We have also learned how to add a part from AVREF to the Quantum Parts Master Table. You are now ready to continue to Segment 3.